Hello. This is Mukampas, and I want to make an app uh, that will talk with my BigQuery database. And I will make the prompt in Gemini Generative AI models, and I don't want to in SQL coding or syntax. To do that, the LangChain SQL agent will help me make SQL queries, retrieve results, and send back to language model to Gemini Generative AI language model that I will use. I want to know what's a link chain SQL agent. How can I use it in Python coding with Gemini large language model? I will do that in Google Cloud Vertex AI Colab Enterprise. I'm going to Gemini and in Gemini there is Gem Manager and in Gem Manager there is coding partner. I'm asking coding partner link to coding partner. What's a link to this agent and how can I use it for coding? Getting results from my weekly database to Vertex AI. Well, coding partner gives me details and good explanation about the link chain SQL agent and how I can use it. As you may see, a link, a link chain SQL agent is a helpful assistant that can understand my question about my database. And that's my objective. So that's what I'm trying to do. And this a good option and choice by using the link chain SQL agent. So as you may see, it's written that it's built using two main parts, the language model. This is the brain of the agent, yes. For language model, we will use the Vertex AI first, and then we will use the generative Gemini models of Gemini. SQL database toolkit. Yes, for agent, uh, this is the need, the toolkit and the tools. Is it written here? This is the toolbox for the agent. Yes, it's the tools to interact with your database. Specifically, they are setting the LNMs, the SQL queries that can be run according to my data. Okay, and also it's showing me how can I use this LinkedIn SQL agent with my BigQuery database on Vertex AI in Google Cloud. For sure, for set, first set up the install necessary packages, the link chain, Google Cloud BigQuery, and other depending according to my language model and stats. Of course, I will use Google Cloud for that. I will need to have the authentication for my BigQuery database, for my large language model, for my data sets. So the install the packages and authentication is important and is necessary to have. And then it's creating the agent. It shows me how can I create this agent in Python coding. There are link chain classes that will be imported. But here it is from LinkedIn LNMs import vertex AI. It's a question mark for me. Because normally when I use this import, I see some code errors and debugs. So I need to check it out if it's okay the luck the, the right class. Uh, we need to check it. We will see next. And I need to make a database and for that I need a project ID, my project ID in so big cloud and my data set ID in my big query. So it's creating the big query database. Connection is the connection between the language model and the SQL agent. Of course, I will choose the large language model. Uh, we will import Vertex AI, but we need to check it out if it's okay 
the right colors. As you may see, you may use another CPU model. And then it's creating the agent by my toolkit, SQL database toolkit with my database that I just created from my project ID and database ID. And then I will ask the questions. But first, let's, let's check the Vertex AI class to LinkedIn API reference in order to check my language model, the class of language model to import. As you may see here in LangChain uh, API reference, we are going to Google Vertex AI and LLMs. Here it is Vertex AI. And as you may see, the class name is LangChain Google Vertex AI LLMs. So I will need to change it. And then I will import the Vertex AI. And I go to the source code, see that the model name is default text Python. Okay, so I will write text Python or it will be blank uh, when I write Vertex AI. We will see how to use and how will be the effects. If I, if I want to explain it with a graph here, we will be in Google Cloud platform. And after making the requirements of authentications, account, having account of Google Cloud, project ID, database ID, and also by having Gemini API, API key. As a user, we will make the import, then it will go in uh, Gemini. This is a request. Gemini will understand this request. This is a request of query. So we need to make the prompt in a proper way uh, with clarifications, with good clarifications that we will need an answer from a database. So we will need a query. So in that view, we need to make our prompts properly and clearly. So Gemini will understand this is a list of query. Then through LinkedIn SQL agent, LinkedIn SQL agent will make the interactions between Gemini and eQuery database. It will make the queries and things if the queries are okay. Through SQL database toolkits and tools so that you can use and execute the actions and after making queries and retrieving results the SQL agent will send back the results to Gemini and Gemini will reply the results in the actual language human interface so as a user we will get the results of our BigQuery database not making any SQL coding or syntax so we will get the results only by making the good prompt in Gemini language model. So I need to have a data set in my BigQuery database. So I want to import a data set from Kaggle data sets so that I can use this data set in my BigQuery database. And I make, can make the queries according to these data sets values. So I'm searching through Google as Kaggle data sets sensor data because I want to have a sensor data. I'm searching through Kaggle data sets. As you may see, there are data obtained by sensors, temperatures, humidities, pressure, values. The date time is old, but no problem for me. I just want to make the queries about temperature with the pressure, pressure values. And I will check if SQL agent works properly by using these data sets in my BigQuery database. So 
and see how it will work. It's cooling time. We'll see if everything is okay. When we read the code according to coding uh, suggestion from coding partner. But we will uh, make some updates about it in order to execute well. So firstly, <clears throat> we will need to install the required packages like Mainchain Google Gena, Genai. Install Mainchain Google BigQuery. Mainchain Community in order to have the required toolkits and tools. Other necessity requirements. Also, we need to install the SQL Alchemy BigQuery. Um, I will use uh, Gemini 1.5 Flash as generative AI uh, model because uh, when I try to use the Vertex AI, uh, I have some quota problems. So I want to change to use the Google generative AI model as uh, Gemini 1.5 Flash. <laughs> In order to do that, <clears throat> you need to have a Google API queue. So you need to go to Google AS Studio and get an API key, but uh, not to show when you're coding. Here again, we have some imports, uh, coding partner. Uh, it suggests these uh, libraries also to import. We also edit the uh, link chain Google Genai part. Uh, it was Vertex AI, but I have changed it to link chain Google Genai because I will use this model. And to do that, I also checked the LangChain API reference page and in there, uh, the right class is this and I will import Google Generative AI. Also, I will need to have a SQL database toolkit as a LangChain agent toolkit. Here we will update according to our project ID and data set ID. So you, you will need to have your own data set ID and project ID. And I am creating to SQL database instance. I'm changing its name as DB because I will use it in toolkit, SQL database toolkit with database. As I have just created here and with large language model as generative AI. Also, agent needs a tool and two kids in order to execute the environment. So I need to see the get tools of toolkit that I will use. That I need to import these tools from Nextgen Community SQL database tool, and it's okay now. I can create my SQL agent with create SQL agent function. I also define my LLM, my toolkit, and my tools. So, ask my question in. Gemini 1.5 slash, as you may see here. So almost every two of temperature reading from the sensor data. So we need to be careful about uh, prompting. We need to be concise. Uh, we need to have good clarifications. What we need. So here it is. The average temperature reading is 5.5. Very few. So, 
Okay, it's working. I can get results by just asking right questions in Gemini. Generative AI model and SQL agent. I'm going to my database, my right data set. It's making the query according to my data. Then retrieve the results and large language model is giving me answer as natural human language. So it's all set and it's okay now. Also, you may check with making uh, queries in your new query database and data set. So I have checked many results and it's okay. Everything is okay. SQL agent is working good with also Gemini generative AI models. And also you may use other data sets in your database. You may add other data sets and you may check also if everything is okay with SQL agent. But you need to do the right prompts, clear, concise and good prompts so that you can get your results by just asking to your language model. Here it is Gemini Gentry model. You can get the answer not making an SQL code of text. Okay, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy.